Hello and welcome to another Lego set review. Um, warning, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I did watch most of the movies once a while ago, but just forewarning, this is Fantastic Beasts. I didn't actually see this one, but this is Grindelwald's Escape, if I'm saying that right. Set number 75951. I got it because it looked kind of scary and had some interesting parts in it. So let's take a look at the figures. First up, we have... I don't even remember her name. Pickery or something like that? Like I said, not a big Harry Potter fan. Um, I like getting different color skirt pieces. I kind of just like those overall. Interesting hat piece, which is kind of interesting. Like the face. Like getting different skin tones for figures. I don't do that quite as much as I'd want. Purple wand is awesome. That I've not seen ever before. Actually, most of the time they're brown. So purple wand is awesome. Overall, kind of a basic print, not too much going on, probably fits how the character looks. Overall, a nice okay figure. Now let's take a look at Grindelwald. Apparently he's a evil type bad guy. So he's got a nice print for his suit, which is pretty cool. He comes with a tan wand, and he comes with the like power burst type pieces that can actually shoot out of his hand. Now my figure, I think, is miss inked because it it's not even the lighting it's actually faded on one side so i don't think i saw the official pictures and it doesn't look like it's supposed to be faded on one side and like i said it's not even the lighting it's it's literally faded on one side like it didn't stamp or whatever good enough let's take a look at his alternate face which interestingly enough is the same way so let's get him back on there and he looks like he's doing just a little open mouth. And again, it's faded on that side. I don't, I don't understand why that is. It's like it, well, the inker was running out of ink or something. Nice little thing to add printing on the back. Overall, an okay figure. Kind of interesting that it's faded like that. Maybe it could be like a type of look for it. But pretty cool prints. Now let's look at the actual set. And this is supposed to represent the carriage that I guess he was being transported in. Let's take a look at it in parts. It can come part like this, which is kind of nice. Now, I believe these are referred to as Thestrals, if I read up on it correctly. And this spooky evil horse, I don't even know if it's supposed to be evil, but it definitely looks it, is pretty cool looking. Um, it has weird, almost like beak, and it's just weird. And kind of scary when I saw the set, I was like, what is going on there? And it's got these wings, which are pretty cool. Overall, a nice piece selection on that. You can have a weird demonic horse almost, and you got some wings there. Interesting build for the carriage part, but that's still pretty nice. It, you know, it looks right, actually, which is pretty cool. And I guess you could play with it like this if you wanted to, like... It ran off. Now, when I looked at the actual, like, pictures of the scene and stuff, there's, like, a bunch of these, not just one. So, if you really wanted to remake it, you could, but you'd have to buy a lot of these sets. I got this one for really cheap. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it because there's not a whole lot to it. Only, like, two figures, too. But let's take a look at the actual carriage part. Simple black carriage, but still pretty cool. Has wheels, obviously, and the other wheels are connected onto this one and they're smaller you can kind of see that there and how they connect pretty simple um, you have a seat up here these can move if you want to but that's also a cool part a black uh, of that like flowery part but that's where the driver would sit you got kind of like lights here or torches you could say back has another set of it so you really kind of get that carriage type look and you got two of these black doors on each side both can open up and it's really boring in there there's not much in there at all <laughs> you're supposed to like i think in the movie four people fit in there or something or even more so yeah a lot of work could be put on this to make it actually work but yeah i'm not a big fan of this i mean the the highlight of the set is it comes with some unique parts in that horse Overall, it's not that great of a set, so I mean, I wouldn't suggest buying it unless you find it on clearance or a real big Harry Potter fan want all the sets, because there's not too much. I mean, you get these black door parts, I guess, too, and you get the wheels and these. You get a lot of neat parts, but overall, it's just, I don't know, kind of a cool playset, I guess, but 
not a whole lot to it. So this isn't one I would super suggest picking up, but thanks for watching. Let's take you to another video. Subscribe if you liked it.